In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure your Android app so you can start generating Android builds and sync your in-app purchases with the ones you've set up in your Google Developer account. Now before you begin, make sure you've connected your Google Developer account in the BuddyBoss app plugin under Configure, Android Settings, and we have a tutorial here to walk you through the process. Alright, let's start with Application ID under App Configuration. Your Application ID is a unique ID that will identify your app in the Google Play Store. Google requires application IDs meet the following conditions. The application ID must have at least two segments separated by a dot. Each segment in the application ID must start with a letter. Only alphanumeric characters or an underscore can be used in the application ID. And of course, the application ID can't be used by any other app. To avoid conflicts, Google encourages developers to use a reverse domain name notation, such as com.domain.appname. For example, if your domain is www.fruit.com and your app is called oranges, you would use com.fruit.oranges as your application ID. After you've chosen an application ID, we can input it right here under application ID. I'll use the one for my example, so that's com.fruit.oranges. And you can see by all the green checks, our application ID has passed all the requirements, so we're ready to save our changes. All right, now to register your application ID with Google and prevent other developers from using it, you have to create an app on your Google developer account and upload a build which uses your chosen application ID. We'll cover these steps later in the tutorial. Now onto Keystore information. Before you can generate an Android build of your app, which you can use to register that application ID, you'll need to enter your Keystore information. Google requires all developers authenticate their app with a Keystore certificate which will assign your identity to builds of your app. Creating a Keystore certificate can be a complicated process, so we have provided a tool inside the BuddyBoss app settings to generate one instantly. To use this tool, go to Tools inside your BuddyBoss app plugin, then click on Generate Keystore. You can choose to enter a password and alias for your key, or we'll generate one automatically if you leave these fields blank. Now for certificate information, only first and last name are required, but it's recommended you complete all the relevant fields. If you're releasing an app as an organization, you should complete the organization field as well. And click generate. This will be the only time you can download this key store. It's important you keep this file safe as you won't be able to upload builds without it. Check this box to confirm you understand and download your file. Now to upload our file, let's go back to Configure, Android Settings, and scroll down to Keystore Information. Now we'll click on Import Keystore, choose our zip file, open that, and now we'll save our changes. And scrolling back down to Keystore information, we can see our Keystore has been uploaded and we can see our password, alias, and key password here. With these steps completed, you can now generate builds of your Android app. In order to set up in-app purchases or publish your app to the Google Play Store, you'll need to register your application ID, and I'll go over that now. The first step is creating a build of your Android app, so let's head over to the build section of the BuddyBoss app plugin and I'll show you how to do that. On the build screen, you can start your build by clicking Request Build. And we want an Android build. And since we're uploading this to the Google Play Store, we're going to choose Release and click Next Step. Here, you can review the information for your build and then send the build request. All right, your request has been sent to our build servers. An Android build should take around 20 minutes. I'll be back when mine's finished. All right, we're back. Our build's finished. Now all we have to do is download our file and upload it to the Google Play Console. So let's get our file by clicking Download APK File and jump over to the console. So here you want to be logged in with your Google account that you created your Google Developer account with. Once you're in, click on All Apps 
and then click create an app. Enter a name for your app. Choose your language. Specify whether it's an app or a game. In our case, it's an app. And then choose whether your app is going to be free or paid. I'll choose free. Then read and agree with the terms. And click create an app. All right, now our app is created. We need to upload our file. So on the left under release, we can go to production, click create new release. Here we'll continue with the recommended option to let Google protect our signing key. Let's click continue. Now scroll down and click upload. Find your APK file that you downloaded and click open. Now this is going to upload. I'll be back when it's finished. All right, our build's uploaded. Let's click save. Awesome. Our app's now registered on the Google Play Store with our application ID. You've also seen the process on how to upload an app when you're ready to go live. At that time, upload your build, review your release, and roll out to production. Thanks for watching.